not had one of these for a little while now. This is the Audi A7 S line, but black edition. Two litre diesel quattro in the beautiful metallic black, 16,000 miles. And this was a 2020 69 registration. That means that the car's got Audi warranty up until 2023. Now today with the life pricing, this car is 41,990. But it's a very special car. And when I said it's been a while since we've had one, what I meant was we haven't had an A7 because they're very practical. You get 60 miles per gallon combined, 204 brake horsepower with them in the newer generation engine. And I think they're a cracking car. They tick every single box. They look super cool. They have coupe lines with the frameless doors. And then you've got a massive boot. And again, with it being a new generation car, you've got all the like, sort of fancy bits on them, like the sweeping dynamic indicators, the new LED style daytime headlights. And it's got very sharp lines, starting with the bonnet, we can see with the quad lines there, and the lines down the side, it just, it flows very, very well. Now, this being the black edition, the majority of the car has been de-chromed, almost every part of it has, other than the Audi rings. So normally around the front grille here, this would be like a silver chrome section on the lips around the corner of the bumpers. But this, like you say, as you can see, is all black. And it does, it looks stealthy, but still very classy at the same time. Because it's an Audi A7, you don't want to look like a boy racer, you just want to look good in it. But they're super comfortable, they're practical, and at 41,990 with 16,000 miles on, with them sort of running cost, you can enjoy the car without breaking the bank balance. So, I mean, headlight washers, front rear parking sensors, you've also got park assist, so the car does do parallel parking on its own. It is quite a large car, the A7 is not a small car, it's got a slightly longer wheelbase than the sort of A5 or the A4. The S-Line naturally gives you a good specification, more sporty seats, sportier bumpers, sportier wheels, but the black edition just gives you slightly more. So this one has the upgraded 20-inch Audi Sport alloy wheels. It's got a matte finish to it, even the diamond cut sections, and then a matte grey on the inserts. All the S-Line badging, you've then got the window surrounds finished in the high gloss black, which some do come with the chrome finishing. This being the black edition, it's all high gloss black. The blacked out windows, what you call sun protection glass, and then you've got this fabulous interior. All the new generation Audis now have that lovely, simple ceramic finish to the centre dash. This one has the ambient lighting pack in it, which is the, the centre strips down the middle, the door cards, the quattro badging on the centre dash is also illuminated, touchscreen media system, but then this has got loads of extras because no two cars are the same. So this has got the Bang & Olsen sound system, you've got the flat bottom steering wheel, Audi virtual live cockpit, it's got everything. Although it's coupe styling, naturally when you add coupe to a car, you think it's a four-seater or a small car. Like I said, this isn't. It's a five-seater vehicle, lots of legroom and headroom. That's tons of space in there. The lighting on the door cards, front and rear, makes this car just stand out a bit more. You've got half leather interior and half Alcantara. S badging in the seat as well. And that lovely sloping back on there just looks cool from every angle. The rear of the car, I've mentioned this previously on a, a very similar video on a, a Porsche Taycan that I did, and it had this long strip rear lighting system, and I think, you know what? Just road presence, it just, the first thing you see if you're behind this car is, especially at night, is this illuminated, and it just looks a million dollars. You then got the individual LED strips there again, and the sweeping dynamic rear indicators. You can see that spoiler's been lifted, because you can do it manually, or it will lift automatically at 70 miles an hour the rear parking sensors, and then this one also has the reversing camera as well. Automatic tailgate is standard on this. Press the button on the key or the handle underneath. Then look at this for the boot space, it's amazing. And this is what I'm saying, getting a car is great, but getting a car that is practical, that you can use every day with your friends, your family, if it's pets you've got, this pops out all together. Seats go down 40, 40, 20, so on top of the fact that you've got a massive boot already, you can make it just bigger. But it's nice and low and you can get things in and out without breaking your back. Press the button and that closes away. 41,990 just gives you this brilliant car with the peace of mind of the Audi warranty. The car's got zero damage anywhere, no dents, no scratches. All the wheels are in perfect condition. The door cards, the back of the seats where normally kids sort of kick the life out of them. This one's not like that. It's it's in near perfect condition. You've got ICFIX attachments for the seats and three point seat belts. There's the armrest in the front and there's an armrest in the back as well for the rear passengers. In here, you've got memory seats for the driver. The electric windows and mirrors with child safety lock there as well. This brushed aluminium finish to the door cards as well and the center dash on the top does feel good quality. 
You've then got the, the leather stitch dashboard. Again, nice, soft, spongy feel. I mention this quite often because sometimes you can buy a car and pay a lot of money and everything feels very plasticky or too hard, but, but not on this one. The flat bottom steering wheel with the S badge and just feels nice and sporty again. It's leather wrapped. You've got the front pads there, paddle shift, cruise control, automatic headlights, automatic window wipers, and they're, they're literally, you don't have to touch these things. You just get close to it and it picks it up and then you put your headlights on, fog lights, etc. Over here, you've got your heated seats. It's all, it's all literally touchscreen, and it's nice. You just got to keep it clean, really. Navigation's so easy to use. The reversing camera, um, when I turn the engine on, which is here. So with a 360 camera system, let me close the door for you, Tom, so you can see it. So you've got the reversing camera here, but with a 360, you can move it around by pressing this 3D button. So literally, it is super cool. We've mentioned this several times in, in other videos as well. And it's like the new next generation thing, really. And that is, that is mega. It is, it's wonderful. You know exactly where you are, where you're going to touch and where you're not going to hit. It's all just there. You've then got the different side angle views as well, as you can see. It's brilliant. Climate control, which is all digital as well. You've got twin cup holders, two keys, automatic hold and electronic parking brake as well. And like with all Audis, you've got Drive Select, so you can choose different drive modes. You can have sort of sport, um, dynamic, individual. You can literally configure all that to what you want. All the lighting down here, centre armrest, which has the wireless charging pad just in there. USB is a more 12 volt socket as well. The car is just a great, good quality car that returns you great miles per gallon enough power to get you and your family about if you're a business user you can bomb up and down that motorway no problem at all but the car looks super cool and i do mean it and because it's black and it's black edition it just looks a bit more sportier this is amazing value car but remember you have the warranty two keys and there's zero damage on the car just arrived my name's joe my name and numbers on the bottom of the screen give me a call drop me a text or a whatsapp i'll get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching Bye bye